Imagine a mail app that dances to your tune, where every feature aligns perfectly with your preferences. It's time to transform your mail experience into a seamless symphony of efficiency and personal flair. When you launch the mail app, you'll notice a number of useful buttons at the top of the window. This is the toolbar, and you can change it to your liking. All you have to do is follow these steps. Open the mail app on your Mac. Click view at the top of your screen. Select customize toolbar. A new window will pop up. Drag any item you want from the new window to your toolbar. Likewise, you can drag any item outside your toolbar to remove it. Once the toolbar looks the way you like it, click done in the bottom right, and that's it. If you don't like how your new arrangement appears, you can always revert to the default toolbar by repeating the previous steps and dragging the default toolbar from the bottom of the window into your current toolbar. When you first launch the Mail app, only your Apple ID's email address will be registered. You can, however, add new accounts at any time. And they don't have to be linked to your Apple ID. You may add any email account from any provider. This is what you must do. Open the Mail app. Click Mail in the top left corner of your screen. Go to Add Account. Select the Mail Account Provider. And then click Continue. Log in using your email address. You'll need to give your Mac access to your account. Click Allow. Select the apps you want to use with that account. You can choose to use Mail, Contacts, Calendars, and Notes. When you finish, click Done. After you've added all of your accounts to the Mail app, double check that you're sending emails from the right one. Fortunately, Mail allows you to specify a default email address, so you don't have to remember which account you're using. This is what you must do. Open the Mail app. Click Mail in the top left corner of your screen. Select Settings. Click the Composing tab at the top of the window. In the Addressing section, click the drop-down menu next to Send New Messages From and select the email address you want. Once you're done, you can close the window. Now, whenever you compose a new message or schedule an email on your Mac, the email address you chose will always be the one who sends the message by default. While the Mail app is going to show you all of your mail as soon as you link your accounts, some emails may still be missing. If this is the case, you can manually synchronize your email as follows. Open Mail. Click Mailbox at the top of your screen. Select Synchronize All Accounts. Your Mac will handle the rest, and you should be able to see all of your mail at that point. If you want all of your mails to look professional, try using a signature. It will not only appear better, but you will not have to add your name at the end of each new message. Here's how to make your own signature on Mac. Open Mail. Click Mail in the top left corner of your screen. Select Settings. Click the Signature tab at the top of the window. On the left side of the window, choose the account you want. Click the plus button near the bottom of the screen. Click Signature Hashtag to change the name of your signature. On the right side, enter the signature you want to use. Once you're done, close the window. You should see the first couple of lines of your email by default. If you want to know what the message is about without opening it, this can be quite useful. However, because the preview takes up more room, you may not see as many messages. You can thankfully change the preview to show as many lines as you wish. Here's how it's done. Open Mail. Click Mail in the top left corner of your screen. Go to Settings. Select the Viewing tab at the top of the window. Click the drop-down menu next to List Preview. Select the number of lines you want to preview. As you can probably tell, if you don't want any preview, click None. Once you're done, close the window. These are just a few of the finest ways to get the most out of your Max Mail application. You can try any of these suggestions. And if you don't like them, you can always return to your old settings. We are working on a video for more detailed features of Apple Mail. Just stay tuned. Once you've mastered the Mail app, you can experiment with other first-party programs on your Mac. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, like, and then sharing it with your fellow Mac users.